Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to redo my restroom and this restroom is a half bath and it's located uh, downstairs um, so this is technically the main restroom we use and our guests use and so I kind of wanted to you know make an improvement, make it look prettier and so that is what we're going to do and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to be part of our family. I do a lot of DIYs, decorate with me, clean with me, hauls. So if you like those type of videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. So the first thing you want to do is remove everything from the restroom. That way you have a clean area to work with. And that is what I'm doing. I'm, I don't have a lot of decoration at this time. So that is why I'm taking everything out. And I am even taking the curtain out. And then all I'm going to do is clean all my walls. And I don't know if you know, but I am doing a like a zone um, in my house. Every time I clean, I work on a zone in my area of my house. And this is pretty much going to be my second zone. Because the first zone, if you saw, it was in the front door. So I am working on this one, which is the second zone. So I'm killing two birds at once. Um taking care of all the walls and I'm just I'm using the multi-purpose cleaner from Mrs. Myers and it it actually removed a lot of the uh, dirt that I have in there or scratches and make sure you get the doors the handles the um, the baseboards you get everything as much as you can that way everything is nice and clean I didn't do the I didn't clean the restroom at this time because I was gonna do a I was going to paint and I was going to drill and I was going to do everything. So I didn't want to actually clean the toilet and the sink until the very end. So all I'm doing here is getting a piece of paper or plastic and taping it to the sides of the uh, baseboards and around the toilet or on top of the toilet because I am painting this wall. And so I didn't want to spill anything since I do have to get in the ladder because it's really high up. So I didn't want to spill anything, which you will see I made such a mess. And I pretty much ruined my shirt because everything got all over. So tip number one is when you're using stencils or if you're painting at all, please don't use a plate like I did. I actually used a plastic plate and it kept moving. So I had to be careful um, the paint didn't spill. So... If I would have been uh, smart enough, I would have gotten a uh, cup instead, and it would have been a lot easier. So right now, I'm just deciding which stencil to use. These uh, stencils I got from Amazon, and it came three in a pack. I don't remember the price. Um, really bad with prices, so I'll leave a link down below for the exact website or link for the stencils that I ordered from Amazon. I wanted to keep one of them for the master bedroom and I wanted it to be like the prettiest design in my bedroom. So I picked the second prettiest, you can say, for the uh, restroom. So that I picked that one and the other one is gonna be for the master bedroom and then the third one is gonna be for my laundry. So that is what I am doing. Oh, I've never done this before, so. I've seen a lot of uh, videos that have these and then you just put tape along the side. I'm just gonna put like here and here and here and here. And then that way it doesn't move on you. So if you put tape, you know, it's gonna tape to this and then you could do it here. So let me do that first. And I'm just regular, I'm just using regular tape. Alright, so um I bought this one at Walmart. It's like a grayish tone, so I'm gonna use that as the stencil part of it. So you can see a little bit of the color. It's coming out a little bit like bluish, but it's actually like a gray color. And so that is what I'm gonna do. The first thing, so I don't know, I 
don't know if to do it with this that I got at Dollar Tree or do it with the brush. I'm um, actually gonna play around with it and see how I like it. Like I said, I've never used this before, first time that I use it, so wish me luck. Okay. So, uh, okay, and also, so I have my mirror here and the sink here. And then I have this wall you see here that's next to the uh, window. And then you have the back one. I decided to put the stencil on this one, which is like the first one you when you first walk in, that's the first thing you see. Just because I kind of didn't like how awkward it looked because if I did it on this side, was I going to stop where the toilet and the sink is? Or was I supposed to do it all the way to the bottom? So I, I don't know. I think I'm just going to do it on this wall. So I've been using this brush, I know it's nasty, and the key is to, okay, you see how this one, you have to make sure you, you put it down, so you're, you're doing it this way instead of going up because it'll lift. The other thing you need to do is don't put too much of it, um, because then you'll get like big old books like this so you have to make sure you put a little bit or put a lot and then distribute it throughout the whole thing see i put a lot on this one so i'm not going to grab it anymore and i'm just gonna distribute whatever's in here up here and you gotta do the same thing you want to let that dry as not too too dry but yes it has to dry somewhat while that dries I'm kind of cleaning up a little bit of the other ones
there shouldn't be any buildup. Strawberry ice cream. Oh, marshmallow ice cream. Marshmallow ice cream. 
starting to like build up in the back of it and then in the front it's starting to peel off so we're gonna go wash it take a little break and then we'll be back it's actually really easy to take off so all you do is you pull it Hola, mamas? Mm. Ah! <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, it's pretty easy. On the other side, the same thing. No, wait! It's, no, I'm not finished yet. I know, I'm just showing it to them. Yeah. Um, I just wet it a little bit. So hopefully, uh, I mean, this is a way for us to kind of rest a little bit, and then we'll continue. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> And if you mess up like I did, just get a magic eraser, wet it a little bit, and then it will actually remove the paint. So I was very happy it removed it. It, it did take a little bit of scrubbing, but it was okay. It turned out fine. Just have patience. And with this project, with the stencil, you need to really have a lot of patience. Make sure you dry uh, as much as you can before you take it off and then when you do take the tape off make sure you take it um, Really softly and now it's a fun part which is hanging decorating Which is to me the funnest part of all I actually didn't go out and buy anything um, I reused everything that I had in my house the only thing I bought was that um, flowers or the plants that you'll see later on. But as of right now, just make sure you shop your own house. Make sure you go around your house and see what you haven't used or if you want to use it somewhere else. That way it will save you a little bit of money. And I do recommend you, um, what I do is I have a bucket in my garage where I have all the extra decorations that I haven't that I didn't use this time and that way I know exactly where I have it and then here I am showing you a little tip I hate measuring stuff and like and things like that so you just put a piece of tape in the back of your your frame or wherever you're gonna whatever you're gonna hang and then uh, mark where you're gonna put your nails um and then put that on the wall and i wanted to make sure i actually measured everything because i didn't want anything to fall especially because it's right next to the door and every time you open the door it does hit a little bit of the frame so i didn't want it to fall every single time so i had to make sure i nailed it correctly if it would have been anywhere else honestly i eyeball it I don't measure it. I don't look for anything that I'm doing now. Um, but this time I really had to do it just because it was in an awkward position. So that is what I'm doing.
show you how it came out so we'll start from this side you see I just put this one is from Dollar Tree and then just a simple towel nothing too crazy and then over here I just put this one which is from Dollar Tree as well and then the wall and this is how it came out. And then this side, I have to close the door. You can kind of see that like this. And then this side right here, I just put a sign. I got that one from Dollar Tree as well. I got some flushable uh, wipes there. A little bit more. So that is the finish look to the restroom. I really, really love how it turned out, and I love it. Thank you so much for watching uh, today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all your support, and see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.